Hi there! We're excited you're going to be participating in an event taking place on Hopin. This video will give you a brief overview of how to navigate and use all the features so you can have a great experience at your event. First things first, this is your registration and login page. As you scroll down, you'll see a preview of the event including event sponsors, the schedule, event speakers, and expo booths. Then, over here on the right, you'll see your ticket options. Go ahead and answer the information you're prompted to fill out and hit join event. You'll then be prompted to add a little bit more information and create an account. After you register, you'll see this preview reception page. You can optionally set up your profile by clicking on your avatar in the right hand corner to add a photo and other information, or you can wait and just do this on event day. Once you're successfully in the event on event day, you'll land here on the reception page. As you can see, all the info is here just like it was on the registration page. You'll see sponsors, your schedule, different speakers, and other basic details about your event. Over to the right, you'll have the event chat. This is where people can introduce themselves, ask questions, make comments, and post messages that anyone can see. To the right of that, you'll have polls where you can answer polls. And to the right of that, you'll see a list of all attendees. At any point in the event, you can click on anyone and send them a message to chat, a meeting invitation, or invite them to video chat right here and there. So you'll see I can come over here, I can click a person, I can either schedule a meeting, or I can just invite Pat to video chat right now. As you can see, it's going to send him a link and he'll get a notification on his end. I'm going to hit share my audio and video. And here's Pat, another attendee in a video chat meeting. Next, we'll move to the stage. The stage is where keynotes, big panels, fireside chats, and other big presentations will typically take place. As you can see, Pat is giving a talk, and there's also a stage chat and a poll to the right of his video player. Next, we're going to move to sessions. Think of sessions like breakout rooms or virtual roundtables. They're great for collaboration and group discussions. I just clicked into a moderated discussion. That means the moderator can allow people up on the screen to join them. To join them, I hit request to share audio and video, choose my settings, and then Pat, the moderator, is going to allow me up on screen to join the discussion. This is how you can ask questions, share comments and ideas, and connect with other attendees in the session. You can also participate in the session with the session chat on the right. Okay, this part is fun. The networking feature lets you match up randomly with other attendees for quick virtual networking sessions. When you're ready, click the ready button to be randomly matched with someone else who's also waiting. And once you're on screen, you'll see a timer in the right hand corner that tells you how much time is left in your networking session. If I click connect, the system will exchange our contact information, just like a business card. At the end of an event, you'll receive a summary of everyone you exchanged contact information with. Finally, the expo. So these are expo booths. Just like a physical event, you can visit the booths of any companies or organizations you're interested in learning more about. When you click into a booth, you'll see some information on the right here. Sometimes this will include a button to register your interest or to visit another web page. And at some booths, you'll see a live person staffing the booth on screen. You can join the booth discussion by asking to share your audio and video. Once you're on the screen, everybody else in the booth will be able to see and hear you as well. And those are the basics of your Hopin event. We hope you enjoy and that you have a great experience. Thanks for watching.